Okay, we're going to look really briefly here at note values in this video, and then in the next lesson we're going to look at uh, our time signatures. And these two are very closely related. I think it's important that you understand note values before we get into time signatures, and uh, these things are very important. Now, you may already have an understanding of, of these things, and this is just, you, you won't learn anything new here, but if you don't, uh, you say you want to be a conductor and you want to lead singing, well, these are some things that are very crucial, so we're going to look at just our note values really quickly and uh, probably four different kinds of notes. We'll look at the values for each one of them. And uh, we're going to look first, though, at what a measure is. I have represented on the board four lines. I have written on the board four lines that will represent our staff. And this could be a treble or a bass. It doesn't matter. But this is our staff. And you see on a staff, if you ever look at a piece of music, there are vertical lines that separate these horizontal lines. And these separate it into what we call measures. So from bar or from line to line is a measure. So from here to here is a measure, from here to here is a measure, from here to here is a measure. So we have three measures represented there. And that's kind of important to know. Each bar, as a conductor, each uh, vertical bar is your downbeat. That's your one beat. No matter what kind of song you're leading, that would be your downbeat. I know a lot of times when you're just learning, you lose your place. It's good to know that these bars are your downbeat or your one beat so you can pick the tempo back up and find out where you're at on the piece. But I say that to say this, and as we look at as we look at our note values, you uh, we'll start right here with a whole note. Now a whole note is uh, without a stem, it doesn't have a stem, and it's hollow in the center. But a whole note can be cut into half or into halves and made into a really beautiful half note. <laughs> and uh, I'm not an artist, you can tell. But uh, these are what we would call half notes. And a half note uh, is not filled in, it's hollow like the whole note, but it has a stem. And a half note is worth half of whatever a whole note is worth. So we're just going to say, just for this video, this uh, was worth four. Our whole note is worth four. Then each half note would be worth two. If you saw a half note, it would be worth two beats, or it would receive two beats. A half note could be divided into half and made into what are called quarter notes. Now quarter notes look like half notes, but they are not hollow. They have a stem, and they're filled in. And each quarter note is worth one beat. So uh, you would have four on your whole, two beats on your half note, one beat on a quarter note, and then a quarter note could be further divided into eighth notes. And an eighth note uh, looks like this. And the reason I'm showing you this, eighth notes are really common in gospel songs, very, very common, but it, it looks just like a quarter note with one exception. It has a little stem on it. And that's an eighth note. And an eighth note would be worth half of a beat. And so it would take four quarter notes to fill up a measure. Where it would only take one whole note to fill a measure, it would take four quarter notes. It would take eight eighth notes where it would only take one whole note to fill up a measure. It would take two half notes where it would only take one whole note to fill up a measure. Now, in every measure, you'll find some of these represented. A lot of times you'll find more than one, or you'll find two or three. You'll find three maybe different kinds of notes represented within a single measure. So it's important to know this eighth note is worth half of this quarter note. This quarter note is worth half of this half note. This half note is worth half of this whole note. And it kind of works like that. And you could go on with sixteenths and thirty seconds, and you can carry it as far as you ever want to. But typically, you'll just see uh, whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. So you'll want to remember those. Whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. And that'll come in handy later as you're trying to uh, read the tempo on a piece of music. I mean, you are, as a conductor, basically a human metronome. And these things are important to know. So remember, a whole note fills a measure. A half note is half of the whole note. A quarter note is half of a half note. And an eighth note is half 
of a quarter note.